सर गुणराज इज दिस फॉर गुड गुड थिंग यू वांट अस टू मूव समवेयर और या मे बी दैट विल बी गुड या ओके வணக்கம் எல்லாரும் இப்படி இருக்கீங்க வில்வர் சர்குனராஜ் பேசுறேன் கிரீட்டிங்ஸ் एवरीबॉडी மை நேம் இஸ் வில்வர் சர்குனராஜ் வணக்கம் how are you doing today good thanks very very first class uh, about you about yeah what's the crack what's the crack the crack is 90 yes that's first class this is a terminology i've learned in the northern ireland here in the belfast we are in the belfast here i am uh, very very excited to be with mr stu here so the northern ireland and mr uh, billy mr billy five we are standing on the ground where the titanic is built This is the dry dock of the Titanic. Behind you see some cranes out there in the harbor in the Belfast. But uh, it's very, very iconic structure and ground we are standing on, like holy ground or something like that. The Titanic, it's very, very first class. Uh, because we are here in the Belfast, uh, I want to just talk to you, sirs, about uh, the history of uh, Northern Ireland a little bit. If you could explain to our viewers out there, well. About 100 years ago, uh, Northern Ireland and the Republic of Ireland were one united country okay. under uh, Great British rule. And sort of around this time, there was a lot of tension, and, and the 26 southern counties in Ireland wanted independence from from Britain, uh, whereas the six northern counties wanted to remain part of of the British Empire. Um, and so, um, around 1920, 1921. The island was cut in half, and uh, the north became uh, their own nation, and we remained part of the United Kingdom. This is Northern Ireland. This is Northern Ireland, and the 26 counties of the Republic of Ireland became an independent nation. separate country, Ireland. Yes. So for those who are watching, Ireland as a separate country, which is separate currency, government, everything. Yes, separate currency, separate government, separate uh, health and education systems. Okay. All different. Okay. And throughout our history as Northern Ireland there has been a lot of tension because there are still people within the north that want to be part of one united independent island you see and there are people here that want their their identity to remain that as British so particularly through the the middle of the 20th century 60s 70s and 80s there was what we called the troubles okay, which were politically motivated between unionists those belonging to the United Kingdom loyalists those loyal to the crown and those who would classify themselves as nationalists or republicans those that want a, a national ireland a independent republic separate from the united kingdom so union your loyalists are uh, uh, have allegiance to the uh, british yes Terminology. and then uh, the republic uh, what is the other one the national nationalist is wants their own Terminology. country like northern uh, 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 yes no okay they, okay they want northern ireland and the republic of ireland to become one nation one, one nation like ireland separate separate than the from, Brit- ah yes. okay 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 so we had these troubles and there was violence there was political tension for 30 years or more um, and then in the early 90s we started what's called the peace process um, and throughout the last 20 years we've been working for peace uh, and bringing reconciliation between the two different communities um, and so we're still on this journey but we've managed to diffuse a lot of the tension um, and a lot of the violence in many of our paramilitary organizations um, some known as freedom fighters so others would know them as terrorists have give up their weapons um, right. as a sign of we want peace um i mean our troubles have been wrongly labeled religious fighting between protestant and catholic where it's actually been fighting between unionism and nationalism it just so happens that most nationalists belong to the catholic faith and most unionists belong to the protestant faith but if like if you ask a, a typical northern irish catholic what is a catholic I think they'll say something about Mary, something about Jesus and then something about wanting the United Ireland. And if you ask a typical Northern Irish Protestant what is a Protestant, they'll say it's someone that doesn't really like Catholics and it's someone that that wants to remain loyal to Britain and doesn't want the United Ireland. I definitely think that in Northern Ireland, uh, we like to think um well certain communities like to think that the Protestant people and the Catholic people are like completely different that they're some kind of uh, alien nation that the, the Catholics are like 
yeah, just real different, but really when it comes down to it, we're all human beings. We're all here for the same cause. and um, We're not here to be different. We're, we've all got 5.5 liters of blood. Liters of blood, we've all got four fingers and a thumb, five toes, we've all heads, arms, we're all human beings. It doesn't matter if you're Protestant or Catholic, we're here to uh, share one love and uh, yeah. our, our troubles in my mind have all stemmed from this identity crisis, this wanting a national identity. Are we British? Are we Irish? Are we Northern Irish? Are we something different? Um, and so they they cling on to something like Protestantism or Catholicism without really knowing what that is. And for me, I mean, I am I am a, a Christian. I belong to a Protestant tradition at the minute, and um, for me, Protestantism is it's an expression of how my heart connects with God and connects with Jesus, um, and it's how I choose to to worship. And it's the same for Catholicism. It's people that choose to worship in a Catholic tradition. There, it's how they connect with Jesus in their way as well. And um, it has very little to do with politics. I mean, obviously, your faith is going to filter into your politics, but for here, it's been very much the other way around. And they're searching for an identity and. For me, finding peace, um, the start of that will, will be really finding what it means to be a Protestant or what it means to be a Catholic and finding an identity in themselves and in the person of God and not necessarily under a flag. And if that is the case, then I think our troubles will, will start to um, dissipate and the tension will be released and people will be able to come with an understanding and acceptance of differences and a celebration of differences of yes we're the same we we follow the same the same Jesus we follow the same God but we choose to worship him in slightly different ways rather than I follow a crown and I follow a, a president and I I don't know it's it, it's a an identity crisis which I think can be resolved with a true understanding of what the words cross and the Catholic mean one of my mentors is a Catholic Mr. Jean Vanier, he lives with disabled people in uh, France and he really, I think, practices the true Christianity about uh, Jesus, about helping the poor people and all these different things, which is very, very interesting, you know, to, to see because a lot of people I know, like you said, had so many differences. In India, we have so many differences as well. With the caste system, it's very, very horrible. You know, it is a, almost, I would like to say it's a form of oppression because people cannot be free of that. You know, you keep on, you have one caste which is high up, one caste which is low. But for me, there, I don't think there is, there is, there is all people around the world are equal. I don't believe in this word C-A-S-T-E. I don't think that word exists. I think it's a man-made word uh, that has been made up. We are all, like you said, 5.5 liters of blood. Yeah. And we are the same. We are first-class global citizens together. So I would like to thank you both so much for uh, taking the time to share about you know this this lesson, this history, and uh, your understanding of what it means to live in peace and what it really means to be for you. I guess yes. you know like uh, what it means to be a true uh, Christian Protestant or a Protestant, Protestant or something. Yeah. Christian, yeah. So first class, thank you very much for watching this program. This is Wilbur Sargunaraj from Belfast, from the, the Northern Ireland. I'm standing beside here, my dear friends. This is Mr. Stewart and Mr. Billy Fife. Uh, thank you very much for watching this program. And remember to be first class citizens, not the Bucky Jets. <laughs> very good. Thank you very much for watching this program. You can press the button on the behind, sir, the red button, and it will stop. Wilbur Sargunaraj.